All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast Channel. And today, guys, we have the first ever review of a Revo knife on the channel. So if you guys remember a while back, Revo reached out to the knife community and a bunch of us reached back and they sent us some great knives. They sent us me the Revo and the Berserk. And I'm checking these guys out. Um, can't wait to review them for you. And you never know, there might be one of these giveaway things. Uh, down the road as well. Uh, but this Revo, and comes in this uh, magnetic closure box, uh, it has some Revo paperwork and a Revo sticker in there. Uh, and this one is uh, the Nest Carbon Fiber in um, handle color black carbon fiber, originated in China, stone wash blade. Great box, guys. Um, so this is the Nest, and it is modeled after a Nesmuk style blade. Uh, which dates back to, um, you know, native civilizations um, and is a great all belly uh, blade for food prep, uh, for skinning, for cape. I mean, just you name it. It's just a great overall drop point style, but but different, obviously, because I mean, you could almost call it a spear point, um, but it, it's a Nesmuk, which it's its own thing. You do have a sharpening choil here in this great Man, look at that. D2 blade, great stone wash. Uh, it has the Revo R here and also on the pocket clip, but it is clean otherwise. Really beautiful, great landing pad for your thumb. Uh, no jimping, but not necessary. Full on stainless liners, no skeletonization in those liners. Great open construction there. On the liners, you actually have the uh, lanyard hole here. Uh, that clip, guys, nice long. It's a little too long, actually, but great retention. And the only reason I say that is it gets into your uh, grip a little bit, but it's not a hot spot. Great uh, recessed pocket clip screws. Woohoo for the win. Deep carry clip. Uh, those red back spacers, barrel spacers, I should say. Really, really cool. Pivot, uh, very simple. Um. And there we go. Um, and it is this great carbon fiber with this um, uh, nice chamfered, rounded off, uh, you know, textured, if you will, contoured is the word I was looking for. Contour right here as well. Uh, I have these designs here that are meant for grip just to sort of break that up a little bit. Uh, definitely good grip. Uh, the handle is interesting, but makes for a wonderful grip. Uh, you get locked in there, just locked. No matter how you're gripping it, uh, you get locked in. It is great. Again, no forward finger toil, no real safe place for that, in my opinion. But look at that flat grind, guys. Just a nice, thin, slicey blade, and it is. Uh, the shape makes it really, really good for that. Um, again, action-wise, it's good, man. I mean... Uh, it is a flipper, of course, and that flipper tab, uh, no jimping, but it sticks up just right and grabs your finger. Uh, let's see if I can fit it. Not really, guys. I mean, it's going to be the D10 is nah. The D10 is really good. Um, you do have good access to that lock bar, um, but you know it does tend uh, to be a little toothy there on the finger. Kind of, you know, might if you flipped it a lot, it might shred you up a little bit. Um, as far as drop shut, yeah, uh, shake shut, I should say, uh, good action, but you got to get it past that detent. Um, it's definitely a little further to get it past that detent, but once you do, it just shakes on shut. So just a great shape of that blade. Let's put this guy right here. Um, and we will talk about the specs. So it is an overall length of eight inches into tip. Um, and the blade length is 3.375, in other words, the cutting length uh, from the choil, the sharpening choil to the tip. So 3.375 uh, there. Uh, the um, blade material is D2. The handle length is 4.6, so plenty of room. You can see my hand has plenty of room off the back of that. Um, the weight is 4.96 ounces. So again, no skeletonization. If they had done a little bit in there, and brought it down below four ounces, I think that would have been great. Um, but it really doesn't bother me. It carries uh, really well. It's a good one in the pocket. Well, actually, I always show it that way because I want to show you the clip. 
uh, but it carries in my pocket like this with the blade to the outside. Um, really carries well, and it's not, it feels substantial in my hand, but it doesn't feel healthy. Now, <laughs> heavy, it does feel healthy. Um, wow. Uh, it does not feel heavy to me. I mean, it, it, it actually, I it almost feels like it's closer to four ounces, uh, but if they say it's 4.96, then it's 4.96. But um, again, a little skeletonization would have brought that down a little bit. The clip is stainless steel. Uh, and again, the liners are stainless. And in this case, this is uh, the carbon fiber uh, material there. So really well done, guys. Now, like I said, this one is at $65. They have it in G10 and other colors and you just need to look around a little bit. I would look at Revo's website first because it looks where the most availability is. Thanks, Revo, so much for sending this guy along. And, guys, like I said, you need to be coming to KF Live on Monday nights uh, because we do all kinds of amazing giveaways on there. And if you're not there, you're going to miss out. So just a little hint, <laughs> little hint, um, this knife is... Is great. You know I love giving stuff away, so be looking for that. And Revo, thanks again for sending this. Sending. I already gave away the little flashlight you guys sent, uh, and then this guy is going out the door soon, and then I'm going to be reviewing uh, this one, the Berserk, uh, very soon. That one's coming up as well. Uh, really cool knife. Uh, kind of has a completely different, you got kind of more of a traditional uh, Nesmuk style, a really old school blade and then you got this guy uh which is on its own planet but uh still super super cool and i cannot wait to review it for you um revo and brs uh are obviously uh you know are together as a company uh you guys have seen some brs blade runner systems knives uh but this is the revo brand again made in china and thanks ed and uh everybody over there appreciate it and uh guys give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this one. And uh, I appreciate all of you. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.